Hey everyone. Uh, yeah, so uh, as you may have said, I'm Brian Turner. I'm a software engineer at Uber and I've been a contributor in the Spire project uh, for a little over a year now. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so great, you might be interested in making a contribution to Spire for a variety of reasons. Um, and maybe you're just interested in the project and are eager to get your hands dirty and learn more about it and get deep into the code. Um, if so, that's great. Um, and if you're kind of newer to the project, maybe a good place to start would be to look through the GitHub issues. And there's a tag that's applied to some of the issues, um, which is called community good first issue. Uh, these are generally kind of the low hanging fruit work that needs to be done in the project. Um, you can think of things like test improvements or refactoring or you know, maybe minor documentation updates, those kinds of things that don't require a lot of expertise in anything um, in any of the code in the project. Um, another scenario is you might be looking to use Spire or maybe you're already deploying Spire and you've identified some issues or um, some lack of feature support for a specific use case that you have in your organization. Uh, a great place to start is to look through the GitHub issues and see if anybody has reported this issue in the past. Uh, and if not, um, I would rec highly recommend that you go ahead and create an issue. Um, and just um, in the issue, just kind of give a brief summary of what it is that you're facing or um, you know what kind of issue you've seen. And um, that's something that maintainers of the projects actively monitor every week. Um, so uh, we tr the maintainers try to get back to uh, folks who create issues in, in a pretty short time. So, and if you are just sort of uh, unsure about whether Spire works in a certain mode or um, whether there's support for a specific kind of environment, uh, a good place to start might be in the Spithy Slack workspace. Uh, there's a dedicated channel um, Spire, which is, um, you know, includes people from the community, includes the maintainers of the project, and the maintainers pretty actively uh, watch that channel. So um, that's a great place to kind of get started as well. So let's say you've kind of figured out an issue that you want to run with and actually make a contribution. So the best place to start here is to go to this contributing markdown file, which is at the root of the Spire repository in GitHub. Um, and this contributing doc, I think I'll just go ahead and jump to it. Um, be more useful to just look at it directly. Um, so here is the Spire repository in GitHub. And if we go down a bit here, there's this contributing.md. I'll click into that. And so the, a few things you wanna kind of look through here. One is just sort of the general contributing and governance uh, guidelines that are established throughout the Spiffy projects. Um, once you kind of reviewed those, uh, this is some prereqs for getting your dev environment set up for, for Spire. Um, so you'll have to go through that. Um, this describes kind of how you build the project, how you run tests, how you run and, um, and build Docker images um, that you can use to test locally. There are also some conventions explained here throughout the project of you know where code lives. So uh, there's been quite a bit of code that's been added to Spire in the past couple of years. So if you're kind of newer to the code base, this is a good place to start to see how things are laid out. So you can find uh, the particular module or subsystem that you're looking to modify or extend. Um, and then there's a lot of conventions that are established at the project, uh, just naming conventions, uh, metric name conventions and how metrics are emitted. Um, there's also some logging and error conventions, uh, just how capitalization of messages and things like that. And a little bit of talk about how mocks are used in the project. Um, and so this is kind of like the, the overall um, landing page for getting started. Uh, once you've actually submitted a contribution locally in a commit, then you can submit a pull request for that. And uh, the pull request will just have a template. I can pull up a pull request I have open right now just to show an example. Um, so when you push your branch to your remote fork and generate this pull request, you'll get this template. It includes this checklist of, does this commit conform to the contributing guidelines? Does it 
include the proper tests and regression tests. And is any documentation updated that needs to be updated? Um, if this feature does not have any forward-facing documentation, then this could be optional. Uh, you'll just want to kind of talk about what is the affected functionality in your change, and then an overall description of what the change is. And then uh, the maintainers of the project are automatically included in the reviews. Uh, so uh, this is something the maintainers monitor every week and try to give timely feedback on. So I think we're running a little bit over time. So I'll go ahead and stop there. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to send them my way or to the Spiffy Slack. Uh, we'd be happy to answer those. Thanks.